does do is to indicate quite clearly, even more clearly, that Larry Holmes, the holder of the WBC title, who beat Weaver in the 12th round when he was attacking that title, is clearly the best heavyweight in the world. It's him whom we see next now in his sixth defense of the title. It is against the number two ranked American Leroy Jones, who was a massive 44 pounds heavier than the champion. Both men unbeaten up to this fight. Holmes with a marvelous record, 33 wins, 24 inside the distance, and Jones without a blemish on his 25 fight career. The fight took place at Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. Commentary from Reg Gutteridge. So there's Larry Holmes and the WBC heavyweight champion giving the traditional eyeball treatment now, as they call it in the fight game, to Leroy Jones, who doesn't want to know. 15 stone, one pound Holmes. And would you believe, 18 stone, two and a half Jones. The fight of the unconquered. Both are unbeaten. And the referee there doesn't quite know what to make of this. Richard Green from Nevada. And a quick look at the statistics there to confirm they're both age 30, knocking on a bit as heavyweights go. So the opening round then, and it's the sixth defense for Larry Holmes, looking in far better shape than when he fought Mike Weaver. And he says, punching sharper than when he defeated Ernie Shavers in his last contest. You may not know Leroy Jones, this big roly-poly heavyweight who is unbeaten, 25 fights with one draw. And among those victories is one over Mike Weaver, who has just won the WBA version of the heavyweight championship. And nobody knows that better than Larry Holmes because virtually minutes before he left his dressing room, he watched that on television and he's already beaten Weaver and now he knows he's got to confirm it to become the universally recognized heavyweight champion. And Leroy Jones, whom I'm sure you haven't heard too much about, also has a verdict over Mike Weaver, so he can't be that bad a fighter at all. Very durable indeed, but always looking a little bit too much overweight. He's been up to 19 stone in some fights, so at least he's worked himself down to 18, two and a half for this one soaks up the punishment and is known to be a bit dangerous. So wearing the white stripe then, the champion, Larry Holmes, six foot three, Leroy Jones, six feet five. And John, Jones there knows that he's got to lay on to Holmes all the time, but Holmes has a good left jab, one of the best, I think, in heavyweight history. He really does some damage with that one. He has his ups and downs. There are moments in fights when he's looked very ordinary. He didn't look particularly good against Lorenzo Zanon in his last fight, and he's really struggled against Mike Weaver at Madison Square Garden last year. But when he hypes himself up for a fight, as I've watched him in training in Las Vegas, Holmes can look the part. He's actually craving for recognition as a really good heavy thing about him as we come out for round two. Both have trained in this ring. Holmes swaggering around and Jones wearing a big 10 gallon hat and looking 10 feet tall. But as you can see, Holmes trimmed off for this contest. He doesn't sell this fellow lightly. With that belly on him, I just hope he doesn't do a big daddy and knock him over with it. Holmes always tried to set his man up there with the left jab. He, that's the way he starts off the ammunition. He gets going, finds his range with that. There's no way that Jones is ever going to run away. He can't cart that sort of weight around in the ring and try and use his legs with it. He's got to get in there and swap. High ranked. This isn't one that's picked from the lower grade of the WBC rankings. Hasn't fought in Europe, Leroy Jones, although there was a moment when he was supposed to be matched with Paul Sykes from Hull. And having watched this, I don't think that Sykes would have won too many medals with him. He's 
been a pro since 73, Leroy Jones. He's had a lot of trouble getting contests, and you can see why. People just don't want this bulk leaning on them too much. He hasn't fought since last July. He's only had four in 31 months. And there you're watching Larry Holmes at his best there when he's just setting this fellow up saying, OK, I know you're going to come on all the time. I'll start using the right hand when it suits me. But full marks to Leroy Jones. He's trying to walk in and take the play away from Holmes all the time. He can't win at long range. He's got to get in close. As we come up for the countdown for the second round. And there's a good flurry for, for round six. The World Boxing Council version of the heavyweight championship with John Tate now, the sensational knockout by Mike Weaver holding the other version, the WBA. But this is the version that's recognised by Britain and Europe. Holmes has used good sparring partners here. I've watched him with Marvin Stinson and good men he's had in training because he didn't undersell Leroy Jones. He says, he could be a nuisance, and he's a big guy, and he's brave. Both originally from the black poverty of the deep south, and now Holmes is living in Pennsylvania, and Jones in Denver, Colorado. Jones presenting himself as fairly easy target all the time in front of Holmes there but he's not the sort of man that you can take out with one punch early in a fight now this is Holmes really having a go there's no hanging around in this one he wants to look the part. But Jones looking very ponderous and knowing that he's got to soak it all up. And he really does become almost a walking punch bag in the sixth round as Holmes is able to pick his shots at will as the countdown starts for the end of this round. If there's a knockdown, of course, the count will go on, except in the last round. And round seven. And it's all very well for the seconds to say he wants his head moving. It's not easy with a left eye closing on him and Larry Holm determining to look like the genuine champion that he is. Unbeaten Larry Holmes and trying to defeat Rocky Marciano's record of 49 unbeaten fights. Holmes now on 33 unbeaten with 24 failing to finish. not even bothering to call break but has to go in and shove them apart and there must be times now when Jones has kind of stood with athletic senility having to cart that weight around with him and take those punches seen Mike Weaver pull out a punch out of the bag there with a left hook and defeat John Tate. He cannot treat this fellow too lightly because he never knows what's in store and after all he is unbeaten. And when it comes to gameless, Jones isn't found wanting. 
for the countdown in the seventh round. And Jones needing all the help he can get from his second. Just smearing a little bit of grease around his lips. And he's soaking up punishment. His punch timing is gone. Round eight. starting to become one-way traffic now for Larry Holmes. Sixth defense of the championship. Won originally in that great contest which we saw on water sport with Ken North. through Jones's mind now. How can I win this fight? Do I need a lucky punch? Shall I go forward or shall I look for survival? Because there's no doubt that Holmes has so much confidence, has his ups and downs in contest, but when he's ready, he's a good fighter. Perhaps I should have trained that much harder. In fact, he has trained well in this ring, but it's obvious he just cannot shed that weight, especially at 30 years of age. give any European heavyweight all the trouble they need and I think Leroy Jones who you may not have heard of before this is just the point I was making virtually out of nowhere known among the traders of course as more than useful but never had the chance until now in the eighth round. And I hope the referee shows a bit of compassion if this keeps up, because I doubt if Holmes could knock this fellow down. He'll just stop him on his feet. He's throwing some money punches at him. He's leaving him draped. Yes, it's all over. And he's draped in the corner like wet laundry there. Poor Leroy Jones. As Larry Holmes retains the championship and for the sixth time, one-sided finish against the mighty Hulk there, Leroy Jones from Colorado. Well, there he is, the man who wants to take on Muhammad Ali, consoling the loser who, to say the least, at least had a go. And in replay, the finish as Holmes there throws punches very low, totally ignored by Holmes and just has no time in at all with the left eye closed and Holmes had to pick him off just like a punch ball. And it really does become both brutal and pitiful at this stage and the referee should have got in a couple of punches. So Larry Holmes goes on his merry way knocking off his opponents and I suppose Mike Weaver whom he's already beaten is in his sights once again and a fight with him could of course make him the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Well we have more boxing to come, a tremendous scrap for the WBA light heavyweight championship and also all the...